Hello and welcome to BA Publisher Basics and Beyond. So in this chapter, we are going to look at a complex Excel template. Um, uh, the, 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 the main objective of this template or this chapter is to get you familiarized with grouping. So even though I say it's real life, uh, there are different ways you can do this. Uh, so the goal here is to give you an idea how to regroup it. Uh, within the Excel templates, there there are some limitations to grouping, but we will try to see how far we can do the grouping. So let's start with the uh, so our objective. So our objective is to familiarize with regrouping. So I would I would uh, I would uh, compare. Um, I would try to see if I can compare an RTF template grouping to an Excel template grouping. So as uh, as always, um, um, you know, the, the, make sure your BA Publisher add-in is installed. You know, make, make sure you have the latest version of the uh, template builder. So first, we will look at the uh, RTF template. So before I get started, as always, there is a link down below which will have the zip file that contains all the necessary files required for this uh, video. Um, so we will start with the RTF template. So I've built an RTF template, um, so which is um, which is a this this you know I would say this is a medium complex RTF template. We have um, we have uh, regrouped uh, the data. Um, uh, you know ba basically we have a regroup by channel. We have regrouped by broker. We have regrouped by sub uh, supplier um, to give them the total. So before we do that, let's look at the um, look at the, the look at the template. So if you look at the template or XML file, the main route I would say is the uh, commissions group. So under the commissions group, uh, we have uh, different data elements. Uh, we are going to leverage these data elements and uh, regroup the data. So you know, uh, in real life, you may not need to do this. You can regroup it within the data template itself and get the XML in the required format. But uh, here we are trying out the uh, uh, regrouping, um, uh, regrouping here. So the question is, why do we have to regroup? Um, uh, sometimes, um, you know, I, I would definitely go with extraction. Uh, but sometimes, you know, if, if uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to play around with the CPU cost, uh, rather than executing the query multiple times, and um, you know, it, it, there are definitely a lot more. Um, uh, benefits of having regrouping done in the templates, but if it's a too many, too, if it's too complex of a regrouping within the templates, I would recommend uh, going with regrouping in the uh, in the output itself or in the output XML itself. So I'm just going to leave, let, let's look at the template that uh, we're going to use. So we are going to have multiple groups here. So we're going to first thing we group by period, then we are going to group by supplier, then we are going to group by broker. Then we are going to group by manager, and you can see then there's invoice, and uh, you have the broker total, supplier total, and the period total. So, uh, so you can see that for each commission peri period, we are you know if you look at these uh, regrouping, there are uh, you know we could see that we are first regrouping by commission group period name. So let's quickly take a look at the XML file before we uh, continue. So we are first saying commission group. So we're going to regroup by commission group and period name. So we're going to regroup the data. So we're going to rearrange the data within the template. So we're going to say uh, period period name, and under for each commission group, we're going to regroup it as a period name. And under the current group, we're going to regroup it again as a supplier. Under 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 that supplier group, we're going to regroup it again as a broker. Under it, we're going to regroup it as a channel manager. <coughs> Then for each current group, we have the values that are displayed. So, um, so in the totals, we're just going to sum it up. We're going to use the uh, sum of current group. So it's pretty straightforward total. So um, let me first try to run. You know, let me first open the uh, actual template and let's you know take you through. We will run an example and see how it comes out. So here is the uh, actual template. Uh, we uh, I'll show you how this template is arranged. So make make sure you download your uh, you know you open your uh, XML file and uh, download your uh, XML. 
then uh, you can click on the field browser to get a familiar get the familiar just to show all so you can see from here you have the general data under that uh, with grouping by commission by period name then we're displaying the period name if I look at the period name it's right here um, you can definitely take a look at this and get familiarized with it so let's see if we can run it and see what the results are remember we we are um, the results that we achieved through the RTF tart to exactly mimic in the uh, Excel templates, uh, but uh, we can definitely try out. So here is the output. So you can see there's a period. Under the period, there's a supplier. Under that broker, there's a channel manager. If you scroll down, you can see all the details for that particular supplier, uh, for that particular um, uh, broker. Um, if you go down, you would see the total somewhere. So if you look here, you can see the total by channel manager and the total by broker. So you can see the you know you can see the data is being split uh, based on it. So let's try to replicate the same information in uh, in an Excel. As always, uh, we would start with opening an opening an Excel. Save it as an uh, Excel 2007-2003 workbook. We copy the XDA metadata from the sample file. Um, this is a sheet. Uh, before the, you know, we will well, let's look at the uh, template. This, so we already looked at the uh, out, you know, the, the the XML file that's coming in. So the first thing what we can do is begin to we we, we are not we will not be, we will not be able to replicate exactly the data, but we are going to uh, you know we're going to try to match as much as we can. So first thing we will do is we can to create a main group, which would be a regrouping of commission, a regrouping of commission group by the broker. Then within that uh, current broker, uh, actually we're going to say group by the uh, period name. So this is uh, I have to I have to fix it. So let me do that. So you can see I have created a main group, which is the uh, which is the regrouping of the co of the commission group by period name period type, and we're going to sort it by period name and for it, for each group. So let's go ahead and. Uh, and create a sheet one and uh, let's try to get some uh, values there so what I've done is I have entered period name and I have mapped period name from the uh, XML file so if you look at the XML file that's a big file so I have commission group and I'm going to regroup it by period name so I'm going to pass this period name in the uh, in here so how I do it you go to define name you enter XDO period sorry period name make sure you put that comma then you select your uh, sheet one then you map it then click OK you would be able to see the mapping right here so once you do that uh, let's go ahead and create the period total Let's go ahead and create the total by current group of the period. So let's go ahead and create uh, total by period. So total commission by period. So we're going to say uh, sum of current group by period. So we're going to say, so right now the grouping is by period. So we're going to, we're going to say current group by period. And let's go ahead and map the group. So we're going to add the same way. We're going to add the total commission period. So this is a field. And uh, we're going to create a new grouping. Um, so we're going to have, so the, this group should include, uh, so the grouping is, so we have defined the group. Now we have to map the group into the Excel. Since we are going to use each period and uh, period total, so let's go ahead and make uh, make this, uh, this whole block at that group. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new group. So I have already created, I'm just going to edit it. So right now we have the main group, and I'm going to type. In, I've selected um, um, it, so I've selected all the way from here to here as the main group. So let's go ahead and uh, run this. Uh, run this test. Uh, so we, in, order, in order to run this, you would uh, go to XML uh, template viewer, and uh, you would select your data, and make sure you select your format as Excel. 
uh, sorry Excel and click start processing so at this point you have got the period and the total by period so we have the January January um, February the total so I so we have a, the first part is done so we're, so we want now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add the supplier total for that period let's go ahead and insert a few rows here let's change the color so it would make it obvious so i'm just going to change it to a blue color so let's go ahead home i'm just going to change the color to make it more uh, appealing I'm just going to change the white middle one to white so we would know what we're doing let's go ahead and add the supplier so before we do that let's go ahead and add our uh, grouping so we have added the supplier group which is based on the current group and we are going to concatenate supplier and broker the reason why we are concatenating supplier and broker is because we cannot have uh, so many layers of grouping within the uh, excel template so it, definitely you can try it out um, uh, but there is a limitation on how many groupings that you can do so um, but in this example we're trying out so we can have as many grouping as possible so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, create this group and we're going to get and we are going to do the total by supplier so we're going to save for the current group uh, commission amount so let's go ahead and map let's go ahead and map these so i've created these uh, supplier so i'm going to map the xdo supplier the xdo supplier comes from the excel so let's see the supplier is here so we can regroup it by supplier and uh, we're going to get the supplier total here this is the new field that we've created total supplier so when you say current group is basically within the group definition so let's go ahead and add the group that will encompass this much so let's go ahead and add that so we're going to add the group i already added it so i have the group supplier group which is basically this much so now we have two groups the first group is for the period Within that period, you have a summary group or supplier group. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Go back to it. I will do a refresh. And I have to save it as a second file as always. So I'm just going to, that way we can keep track of where we do. So <clears throat> at this point, we have a period. And for that, within that period, you have uh, multiple suppliers so let's let's do this let's look at the total of the period so we can compare the amounts so i'm just going to go down to periods so period period uh, so we can compare the total so let's go ahead so the period total is eight actually let's look at a simple one so this was 49 49 so it's you know the other one should be enough so let's go ahead if you want you can test it out I know this video is going to be big, so I would uh, stop at uh, uh, 15 minutes of recording. Then, uh, then I would uh, actually maybe 20 minutes of recording, then I'll uh, I'll record another video. So, so <clears throat> you can see the total is correct. So the first step. So, so in this step, what we have done is we have regrouped two. We have basically regrouped it twice. First is regrouped by PD, then by supplier and broker. We concatenated supplier and broker. So let's go ahead and uh, try the next step. So in our next step, we are going to add the uh, header elements. Uh, we're going to add elements, basically, uh, invoice, invoice number. Uh, we're going to add all this. So we haven't mapped any of the fields yet. If you notice, there's nothing else. Let's go ahead and map the fields. So before that, we have to create a current group. So we have added a new group called uh, broker group. And we, we are going to say it's based on the current group. And we're going to sort it by broker. So, uh, so we have three groups so far. First group is the main group, which is based, which is regrouped by period name. The second is the supplier group, which is regrouped as a concatenated value of supplier and broker. Then we are going to regroup it as the current. Basically, we're going to print print the uh, exact data as a current group. So let's go ahead and map this uh, broker group into this value. So let's go ahead and select uh, these fields. Because we want this data to repeat, so let's go ahead and map it. So I've already done it. I'm just going to show you. So let's edit. 
So that's a broker group and that's the values that I mapped to. So let's go ahead and run it and then we would map the individual fields. So let's go ahead first run it, then we will map the individual fields. So I'm going to run this. So as usual, come back here and I'm going to map it to four. So let's run it. So here's our sample. Uh, we can see that the, uh, you know, we can see that the value is repeating. Uh, we can see the dummy value is repeating uh, based on how many rows that it has. Um, so um, let's go ahead. I think so far it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and add the, uh, the exact, the, the correct fields. So in the sheet five, I've all I've mapped the uh, value. So you will go, you know, we'll go ahead and map it. So in order to map, in order to do it, you would go to formulas, define name, and you know you would do XDO broker. So the broker will be in the uh, in the Excel file in the XML file. So it's here. So then um, you would select your uh, type. So it's going to you mean sheet. You're going to do that. So um, so keep keep doing those uh, same steps until you have you know get all the values. So let's go ahead and run this one. So let's go to the this version five. Go ahead and run it. So um, you know the value came out uh, to be pretty good. You can see the value is uh, coming out good. So let's go ahead and add some formatting and adding some extra, you know, beautification, and go uh, and uh, let's go ahead and run it. So you know, you get a more beautiful, more more formatted data. So as you notice that uh, we may not be exact, we might we may not be able to duplicate it exactly, but we could bring something closer of the regrouping. So. As I said, this chapter was uh, mainly intended to get you a hands-on on regrouping. As I said, uh, you know, if you have complex re regrouping, it's better to do it in the uh, in the extract itself. Um, you know, you would have referred to the uh, the data extraction part of the video, so you would see how do you do that. So in this chapter, how do we? Uh, you know, we have reviewed. Uh, basically, we have went through how to use um, how to use uh, custom sorting custom grouping and uh, get the data uh, that you need through excel um, so i say before we go so i will take you to the to the attachment that you have so that in that in the zip file will have all these um, all these uh, uh, files and these files would you know each file is a different you know i, I kept a different version for each file so you would be able to download each file and uh, test it out. Having said that, that's pretty much it. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you again next video. Thank you.